Good people, welcome to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. I'm gonna do a left hand fingering practice called Little Lift. This will help you play faster. It will also help you play more easily or ease fully because we're gonna focus on not pressing too hard and not lifting too high, okay? It's a very simple practice. We can do a lot of it without even playing with the bow. Just set down your bow for a second. Play, put your first finger on A string and just practice lifting it a teeny bit. Now, there's a tendency with beginners to when they're playing to lift their fingers really high to let them fly off. I'm free, I'm free, I no longer have to work, I'm free. But we want to avoid that. So, and so we're doing this very focused practice, just trying to relax the hand and also not to press too hard. Once you get that down, try like A1 to 2. Just very gently coming down and lifting very little. See how minimal you can lift it, like a millimeter. Then do the same thing with, it, with two to three. It's just a slight little lift. Little lift. Very simple practice, right? And so do it a lot without bowing. Then try it a little bit with plucking. You may want to just do two notes, like one to two. Focus on lifting two very little, the second finger very little, then two to three. Focus on not lifting three very high, all right? So, and then you can just extend that to using the bow. Still keeping all your attention on the little lift. Is the little lift still, hap still, not, is still there? You're not letting your fingers fly. If you find that you're able to do a simple four note scale, do it on other strings. Maybe add a bowing slur. Then check in with yourself. Are you still able to do little lift? Okay, then you can do something slightly um, more complex. You can do just a tune, a very simple tune. We can do like violin cabbage down starting D2. Now when I lift the three, I lift it a little. So each step of the way, you keep your awareness and attention on this one little technique, this little practice. And, and just do this a little bit every day, you know, for a week or two or a month, and it, you'll, it'll start to rub off. You know, don't, don't beat yourself up and force yourself to do it for a whole practice. Do it for like a couple minutes at a time, move on. Make sense? Okay, cool. This is a really useful thing. I wish I would have figured this out 35 years ago when I started, and I'm only now figuring it out, but that's okay, because you get, you get to take a little bit of a shortcut. Um, and while you're at it, remember, I forget if I mention this, when you press your fingers down, when you, another part of this practice is to not press them too hard. So when, you, when you're just sitting there practicing without playing, see how gentle you can be, and then see if you can do that with while bowing. A trick with that is to um, keep the bow strong because there's a tendency if you press less hard with the left hand, your bow gets wimpy. So try to keep your bow, your right hand strong, but your left hand very kind of pliable and gentle. Okay, that's it. Let me know if it was useful. Let me know if you come up with a way to practice this that I didn't mention. Okay, we're, do we're doing this together, we're learning together. Okay, thanks everybody.